In the other timeline, Safi's alive, so... No reason for a cop to be blocking the way there. Must be a way around this guy. Hey, I think I left some equipment on the overlook. Can I? Sorry, miss. This area is secured. Active crime scene. You'll have to wait. Better start heading up to the overlook. Hope there's a place to cross back over on the way. This looks a lot like Sophie's favorite candy, but hers is called Sour Cats, not Heart Stoppers. This goes against everything I learned in horror movies, but I should check for more weird shit. Good news. Uh, it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. Why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? Oh, right Alex, next. you have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? The vibes here are way off. I should look into why. The bigger the art project, the more of the path it blocks when it falls. From here, I should be able to make it up to the Overlook. Better look around to see what other freaky shit is going on. Let Officer Cop Cop know I'm behind him. The vibes here are way off. I should look into why.
I've left my phone in some bizarre places, but never this bizarre. Hello? Speaking. Shit! She had a panic attack. Any more unexplainable things the universe would like to throw at me today? See something, say something, right? I swear, if these owls could talk. Better look around to see what other freaky shit is going on. If I tamper with it, the cops will know. Might be another way. here are way off. I should look into why. I hope he doesn't think we're BFFs now. Impressive in scale, if not sturdiness.
Better look around to see what other freaky shit is going on. Jesus, fuck! You've got to be kidding me. Do you think it was a student who didn't like their final grade? I doubt it. Usually those kinds tip me off with an angry, poorly written email. So, do you know who did do this? No. Jesus. Why does it feel like Gwen's always got something wild going on? No matter what timeline I'm in. Trying to avoid me, Max? Uh... Trying not to bother you, actually. Careful there, Pineapple Express. Shit. Did Pot get stronger since I was in school? Before I came out, I had this boss. Free thinker. Who adopted his worldview wholesale from shouty YouTubers. Yikes. And a raging transphobe to boot. The brainwashing our kids, blah, blah, blah. And of course, I was afraid if I said something, said anything, he'd figure me out. But. When I was alone, I could conjure the perfect soliloquy to shut him up. Make him feel as small as he made me. Isn't there, like, a special word for that? In French, right? L'esprit de l'escalier. The wit of the staircase. I take it you're acquainted. Oh, yeah. That one's a Max Caulfield greatest hit. Point is... I've always been able to think of something to say eventually. But what do you say about something like that? Gwen, what is this? Video proof. Allegedly. Yasmin is the trafficking of a controlled substance on campus. Hold on. There's no way Yasmin thinks you were selling drugs. How could she not? That there is security footage of someone who looks like me dealing to students. Someone who looks like you. This is such bullshit. Can't you fight it? Fight it? How? That wasn't me, it was my evil twin. No. No. Fuck it. They've already made up their minds. You don't mean that. Thanks for believing in me, Max, but... I'm sick of fighting to prove I deserve to be here. Lucas shouting at his son, 
Reggie seeing himself here in the other timeline? Is Gwen another victim of doppelganger-itis? Or is she just trying to cover her ass? If I could look at that footage, maybe I could figure it out. Gwen? What are you... What are you doing? Saying goodbye. And... Fuck you! To Caledon. To Yasmin. And to feeling powerless. Gotta take catharsis where you can get it. How does Catharsis feel? Honestly? Terrifying. But also... Feels pretty fucking great to set something on fire right now. Thanks, Max. I appreciate you listening. I appreciate... You hearing... Cancelled Safi's book deal. So she told you? Word travels. You were her mentor, right? Do you know why? In my experience, some mysteries are better left that way. Now Let's see if I can find what Reggie saw, or thinks he saw. Doubt I'll find anything useful in this timeline. What would you think of all this, Hannah? Would you still be inspired?
did something used to be here? I can't remember. Did something used to be here? I can't remember. Miss Caulfield, you, uh, out for a stroll, too? Something like that. By the way, I appreciated your help with Reggie. Oh, that? It was the least I could do. Reggie's a sweetheart. Holy shit, what are those? You can see those? Yeah. Do you think this is what Reggie saw? That's not really mine to share. I I'm not trying to... I just want to make sure he's okay. Honest. He will be. I think. I was gonna come up here anyway after the suicide tip, but... Seeing Reggie like that... I don't know. Made it feel... real. Wait, suicide tip? One of the beat cops let it slip. You run a successful podcast for a few years and you find ways to get people to open up. Speaking of opening up, I got a lead. I could cut you in. One second I'm a source, and the next I'm a fellow investigator? Sounds like there's strings attached. No, it's not like that. I just... I feel like I kind of owe you after the whole Dr. Hunter thing. Maya Okada, one of Safi's classmates during undergrad. They were friends. Then, Maya died a couple years back. Suicide, apparently. You think it's a pattern? Maybe, yeah. Two promising young writers, both dead, both by their own hand, according to official sources. But Safi didn't kill herself. Like I said, a pattern, maybe. Explain something to me. Why is this so important to you? Safi was my friend. Because I hate it when things don't make sense. I have to go. Got your text. Tried calling, but you didn't pick up. It's cool, Max. Everything's cool. 
It's not cool, though. It is not. So what's the damage? TLDR version? Pretty sure I'm the number one suspect. What? Why? Besides that being true for most of my life? Well, I did... I did do something. I took Safi's camera. I know. Rational decision. I wasn't thinking. I just. When we found her that night, I saw the camera. And I thought the last picture she took in her life was that selfie of the three of us. And Safi would never want to have that camera, that picture, in the hands of the fucking police. So I brought it back to my office. And then I realized, what the fuck am I doing? That's evidence in a murder case. So I just hid it in there. In my office. Moses. I screwed up, Max. And now I don't know what to do. All right. Maintenance tech is on his way to Unlock your office, Mr. Murphy. Then I'll just have a look around inside. Shit! I've got to get Sophie's camera out of there. Somehow. Unless you have a key card. Miss Coffee. Sorry, I don't think we've been introduced, Mr... That's Detective. Detective Vince Alderman with Vermont State Police. I'll be handling your friend Sophia's case from now on. I'm sorry for your loss, by the way. So, is there some kind of problem here, Detective? Max. It's okay. Not a problem. Slight hiccup. Mr. Murphy, apparently, gets his key card quite often. That's true. He does. Miss Caulfield, I do need you to leave the area for the time being. Will you be okay? Mr. Murphy will be fine. I'll come back. Promise. Okay, now's my chance to get into Moses's office. Where's a place I can shift to the other timeline? Thank mm -hmm. you.
Wow, these are heavy duty. I can't see anything through them. Is all this going to change now that Alderman's on the case? Open into Moses's office, I think. Caledon campus in winter. I used to think this was beautiful. Now it just makes me think of Safi. Definitely the right call. No one feels like partying so soon after Sophie's death. This is a private conversation. This is a private conversation, Miss Caulfield. Maybe I can find a way into Moses' office from this side. I wonder if it'll feel disrespectful to Safi if I go to this tomorrow. Moses can help me find the camera. Oh, hey, Max. <laughs> That's annoying. How do you stand it? <laughs> You'd be surprised how quickly you get used to it. I think they call that Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> uh-huh. So, what's up? Actually, I need to ask you kind of a weird question. My favorite kind. Name it. What is your most prized possession? In here, at least. In here? But probably that mug. My sister made it for me as an early Christmas gift. Oh. That's sweet. Remind me not to get you any mugs for Christmas. Kinda left field, but... If you were going to hide something personal in this lab, where would you put it? If this is about my dream diary, trust me, you'll never find it. I'd never bring it to campus. You never told me you keep a dream diary. And I never will. Pure conjecture on your part. Okay, name something in here you wouldn't want, say, Dr. Faya to find. Like, something I keep locked away? Yes, yes, exactly. That would definitely be my electric kettle. <laughs> Maintenance has no idea where I hide that fire hazard. <laughs> As I live and breathe, Moses Murphy, rule breaker. Uh, rule bender, Max, rule bender. Anyway, <laughs> what's with all the questions? Oh. Moses? Need me to hold something, or can I help somehow? Actually, yeah. I need an Allen wrench. On it. Um, got one around here? No, 
I borrowed one from Carla, but I think she took it back. If you can go grab that from her, I'll owe you. Okay. I can't go looking around for Carla. I need a faster way to get Moses a wrench. This is pretty impressive. A lot more complicated than I would have thought. Hang in there, Moses. I'm getting you that wrench. Where do you keep your kettle? Hang on, Max. I gotta adjust my grip. I feel like I understand this now. Maybe I've gotten smarter with age. The maker of this mug sure knows her target audience. I bet Moses covered his bedroom with bees as a kid. Just need to get Moses that wrench. I thought I'd never hear another dirty joke about this thing. But Safi's alive here. God, I bet every sad poem she ever wrote is being used to justify the suicide angle. So this is how you set up the infamous depressed chess. I can see why this character is Moses' favorite. He's always looking up. Moses might actually hate snack residue on his fingers more than he hates scientifically inaccurate movies. Love this cozy little donut corner. Just need to get Moses that wrench. Moses was so excited when this came out. I think he bought seven copies. The wonders of modern technology have rendered us a turtle with a gun. Worth it. Harold's dishes. I've heard so many jokes about this mysterious office mate that I don't know what's true anymore. <laughs> That's still annoying. Aw, Maggie's cute. They're all cute, really. Yeah, this is why I'm not a physicist. Knowing at least one Moses gets a happy Christmas. Can't tell if that makes me feel better or worse. There's no way Yasmin would be okay with how Alderman is treating him. Moses is her prodigy. Oh my god, stop! 
Knowing at least one Moses gets a happy Christmas. Can't tell if that makes me feel better or worse. Even when I'm on this side, this picture reminds me of two nights ago. Oh, why is it so happy? Maybe the other Carla didn't take her wrench back. I need to get that Allen wrench, and I need to be quick. If the tea kettle was a fire hazard, I guess a heat lamp is out of the question. Moses, what a horrible reminder. I remember her wearing this earlier that night. I bet Moses covered his bedroom with these as a kid. The maker of this mug sure knows her target audience. Better give this wrench to Moses. Must have been dropped off while Moses was out. This must be for working on the mural. Hmm. It'd be better from another angle. Hmm. It'd be better from another angle. Hmm. It'd be better from another angle. This must have been dropped off while Moses was out. These are cute. Moses' sister must have visited.
for astronomers who hate the outdoors. Moses and Safi, so different and yet so well suited. Better give this wrench to Moses. So I found this guy named Alan, but he didn't know anything about a wrench. No, Max, not literally Alan. It's... Oh. <laughs> you are a lifesaver, Max. Dad joke aside. I'll never apologize for my dad jokes. And you're welcome. Mural goes here. What's that about? Safi's baby. She had the bright idea that we should draw the Gemini twins up there. Why haven't you? You know, Safi, she has like a million little projects half started everywhere. Anyway, I'm sure we'll get to it at some point. We have all the time in the world. So, did you want some tea? Um, yeah, if you don't mind. W with the contraband kettle, right? Just give me just a second. Sure. So the cabinet is a secret hiding spot. Let's hope the other Moses hid the camera in the same place. I should check this cabinet on the other side. Hopefully the camera's in there. in the I feel like I understand this now. Maybe I've gotten smarter with age. Moses must have finished this the night Safi died. This is beautiful. I bet Moses knows something interesting about every one of these stars. Moses was so excited when this came out. I think he bought seven copies. Just relax. It was a picture of the mugs you two were drinking out of. Good. Oh, I would rather murder all my students with my bare hands than grade one more final. Oh no. Were you two up all night? Yeah. And I'll be working on these astronomy finals until sundown. What I'd give to be pulling an all-nighter grading papers instead of all of this. On a good day, that 3D printer would be making all kinds of cool stuff. But today is not a good day over here. Oh, to be a tiny plant in a vial. 
protected by a team of high-tech androids. Aw, Maggie's cute. They're all cute, really. It hurts to look at this. Damn. This note wasn't here in the other timeline. That can't be a coincidence. Is this where he hits off his camera? Okay, the camera might be under a safe. Where can I find this safe? Moses said living on his own for the first time was harder than the astrophysics. Nope, no camera in here. I don't know of any other safes in Moses' office. Think I might need his help again. This must be for working on the mural. I don't remember ever seeing an actual safe in this office. Distract you if I talk? Should be fine. What's up? So, the mural. What's the story there? I made the mistake of telling Safi I used to want to be a comic book artist, as she found a project that would force me to draw. Hmm. We're going to use my star projector to trace the constellation and then draw the twins around it. And Gemini, what's the significance? Really, I chose it because there are two of us and we'd be working on it together. But Safi imbued it with meaning, the scientist and the poet. Duality. She sells it better than me. That telescope, how long have you been working on it? A couple of days. Why? Is there anything special about it? A better question would be, what isn't special about it? Misunderstood in its heyday, due in part to its experimental lens design, it's only now being lauded as the revelation it is. Underestimated and later appreciated. May we all be so lucky. <laughs> Another strange question. Um, you don't have a safe in here, do you? The locking kind? No. 
are there non-locking safes? Well, for a second, I thought you were asking about the star safe. S-A-I-P-H. There's a star called safe. Sure is. It's a part of the Orion constellation. What the? You've been popcorned. <laughs> Engineering wants a prank war. I'm trying not to sink to their level. <laughs> Gonna go clean this out. So Moses hid the camera under a star. And of course, there are stars everywhere. <laughs>